Hello everybody, I'm Ted Nice, and today I'm bringing you on a video on, it's a how-to video, sorry, on how to make your own server. Mm, works pretty good. So basically, what we're going to do, okay, we're going to start, let me make sure you guys know, see, this is it here, it works, I've been running it for a while, so okay, so we're going to minimize this for now, minimize this, okay, so what we're going to do is open your Google Chrome browser, okay, Google, because I don't know actually know that. Pokemon 3 downloads. Okay. Now you're gonna look for the server 5. Point, or 0 0.53 and you're gonna get downloaded. You click that. Try not clicking it. Okay, so once it's downloaded, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a folder. I'm gonna get my folder here. And then you're gonna open the folder as so. You're gonna run the program. Which is going to oops, I forgot I didn't close my server. <laughs> We're gonna open the server, which is going to bring up all these files. And all you're gonna need from these files is properties.dat. So now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna black this out. So it's okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're going to go start CMD. Oops, there we go. Command prompt. IP con That's it. Oh, I just built that wrong. IP con Okay. So then you're gonna go look for the IPv4 address. Mine's this, but I can't really tell you what it is, so you don't know. But you're gonna need that and your default gateway. Okay? So once you get both of those, you're gonna type the IPv4 address into the server chat thing. Everything else should be fine unless you wanna change something like, you know, your server messages. Uh, welcome to welcome message stuff like that. If not, you're good. You go click save. Or, yeah, you click file save close. Okay. So now you need your default gateway to open this up. And again, I'm gonna hide this out of you guys. One. Okay. We open that up and bring you to this. Now yours could be tons different. Generally, there's a website. I forget the name of it that tells you your password, but you just gotta type in your password. Okay, guys. Type in your password, you get in here. Now, mine's firewall, port triggers, and you have to set a port trigger. The ports being, I'll just show you quick. Type in whatever you want, you know, YOLO. It's going to be 15124. 15124. Just like Minecraft. This is your port though, 15124. You remember port the same, 15124. Okay? Once you do that, you click add, tr add trigger, add thingy. If you're using port triggers, go to virtual servers. Same thing as port forwarding. So do both port forwarding and port triggers. If you can, you do the same thing. You add the IP address, you add that, and you're good to go. And that's about it, guys. Um, I know it's a short video today, but it doesn't take very long to make the server. If you have any problems, I'll leave my email in the description below, and you just messaged me. Alrighty, guys, I'm 10 Knives, and I'm out. Peace. I also forgot to show you guys, you go www.google.ca. If you're American, I don't know how to do this, but it's pretty sure if you're Canadian, you go IP, and you take this and add the port to it, and then your you give that to your friends to join. Alright guys, I'm Ted Nice, and now I'm out. Peace.